Hey guys, let's just jump straight into it and kill Sturm. I think that's his name. I don't have time for this bullshit. Out of my way. Okay. Let's do one try and one try. That one attempt you guys saw, uh, was obviously in an alternate reality. It was not real. Fake. I fucking missed. Okay, now he's on fire. That was my fault. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh come on man, point blank. This is not a good position. He's gonna blow me again. No, don't blow me. Oh God. Jesus. Oh, come on, man. Man, I really don't have time. I should have just upgraded my rate of fire. It's gonna blow. All right, uh, I could just lay down a mine. Right here. That missed? This is not good. Um. Did that get him? I don't even know. Hey, shithead, come on. <laughs> this is it dead? Now stay down. Boy, is it dead? Hey, we did it. Let's go. Let's go! Complex mechanical heart. And Chris says I'm way out of my league here. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm like, come on. Like, clearly I'm capable of, of doing shit like this. Chris is just so stubborn. He's a stubborn old man now. <laughs> okay, we're good.
is this a treasure? Yeah, it's a treasure. That's funny. Cigar made in Cuba. It's really damp. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed Kadu experiments to her. I was just like, I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. Um, so she still calls me her, her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't change my body. She took my dignity. <coughs> if I don't kill her, then my life will be will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega Mycie. The trick is that brat Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Hmm, okay, okay. What's so special about Ethan, huh? Spoiler alert, I already know, but maybe some of you watching don't even know, so I will not say anything. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, oh, here we go. Nope. We're almost out of here, Ethan. Just a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. Um, there's a door here. Anything over here? There's nothing. Oh, cutscene? Oh. Oh, here we go. Cutscene now. <laughs> what the? Uh oh, he's here. He's here. It's Magneto. Not bad. Not bad, Anders. You're persistent, but I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my. <laughs> oh no, he's mutating. Flesh and metal. Flesh and metal. Just like all those other abominations. That bastard. That fat bastard. Damn it again. <laughs> oh my god, Ethan just cannot catch a break. He just can't catch a break, dog. Oh, here we go. Chris, you killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You Just... think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. That's all you had to do. It was Miranda. What? That's all you had to do, is just tell him right from the very beginning. She 
changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Okay. Us, Chris. What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. I mean... <laughs> Hand me that wrench. What do you think was going to happen? Of course Ethan's going to get involved anyway. <coughs> Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> if I could take down the Baker family by myself with no combat training, no I police training, no military training... Explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> you can't turn back now. He was like, I'm so proud. <laughs> uh, to Hound Wolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this was just our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mutomy mutomyce, which has granted her a number of abilities, including... Is it mimicry? Is that, is that how I'm pronouncing it correctly? Mimicry? I'm pretty sure it's mimicry, not mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. Like a chair in Elden Ring? She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took Rose with her. Took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I thought I found some... But I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, with, composite which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha. Yeah, this boss fight's pretty unique coming up. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can take. Oh, I can take this. All right, let's get in the get in the thing. Polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. <clears throat> I'm coming, Rose. All right. <laughs> so guard. 
machine gun, ready cannon, fire. Okay, that was not it. That open spots. Goes up anyway. <laughs> <coughs> I'm reloading. Oh shit, here we go. You cannot use the cannon while it is reloading. Okay. You're like a goddamn cockroach! You think you can take me on? Yes, I can! Fine. This will be my warm before I kill the bitch. Let's settle this. Man, a man. Your curse will be another addition to my army! Well die like the world's what? He really likes the word bitch when describing Miranda. My man. My guy, I think you're a misogynist if you keep using words like that to describe women. I see the bright spots. I see the bright spots. Try hard. Show me what you got. Oh, don't give up. That one hurts. There we go. In the face of my steel glory. Oh. Yes, I do have to thank that bitch for Andrew for this. <laughs> I'll kill her with the power she gave me. Boy, quit using that word. <laughs> I know she ruined your life, but goddamn. Having fun? Just call her a dickhead. Or a bastard or something. <laughs> I felt spending years under the bitch's thumb. Okay. Yeah, I think this guy hates women. Heisenberg, just go back to selling drugs in New Mexico, Albuquerque. This is not who you're meant to be. This is not who you're meant to be. What is going on with them? I'm being sucked in. Oh god. No. No. Why my lord? The golden punching asshole. But you are first. How would you know about that? How would you know about that? <laughs> oh god. At least Capcom acknowledged how ridiculous that was. <gasps> Only fans. Come on. I'm glad. Subscribe to Ethan's Only Fans. I think Heisenberg's like the only one. Am I doing anything to him? Okay, I am.
Oh god. What is happening? What is happening? Oh no. No! Oh, here we go. This can't be the end for me. I must kill her. That was a really good boss fight. It was pretty, it was really unique. It was really unique. Iron Giant down. <laughs> it was a really cool boss fight. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it was pretty cool. Ethan, I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, no, Ethan, don't. Mia? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know. Do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's <laughs> Rose? <laughs> Miranda. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Uh, Rose yeah. No. How could I forget? Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's warranted. That's actually warranted. Calm yourself. Rose will be <coughs> saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? She was the hag this whole time. And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come on and face me! Ethan, no! Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. His heart! I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother! Bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> no, Ethan's dead. But dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child. Damn, rest in peace, Ethan. Rest in peace. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. Cut down. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him 
and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? <laughs> All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. When have you started smoking, Chris? SAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, it doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Fought together, Captain. Here we go, Chris Redfield. Last, the desert. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Damn. What the hell's going on over there? Wait, where's the castle? Oh, here's the castle. There you go. Yeah, so Resident Evil 7, you play as Chris in like one of the DLCs, but his face looked nothing like Chris Redfield. <laughs> like, who the hell are you? First, we're going to have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. The music's kicking Everyone in. Watch for hostile bioweapons. I love this. Roger. I think this is my favorite part of the game, playing as Chris Redfield. Dead? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This village is cooked. It's all new to my seat. That's probably where the wind is. Let's go. All mold and everything. Yeah, this place. Yeah, this place is not going to be habitable for, like, a very long time. Damn it! Pass blocked! Okay. No 
Boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. I'm leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Yeah, pretty much this turns into like an action. An action game. Action horror, pretty much. I mean, like, look at the fucking ammo I have. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Upperize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. Okay. I was about to say, can he punch to like push them away? <laughs> What's this? I'm sliding down. Watch this, watch this. 360. Oh, wait, wait, no. These, these, have, these guys have arrows. No, no. <laughs> Let's save that for later. Alright, here we go. 360. There we go. 360. Did it. Flawlessly. I know people played this section like it was Call of Duty. It's kind of funny. Get away! I'm Chris Redfield. I'm basically a superhero, a super cop. If Chris can punch a boulder, a large ass boulder. Hey, I get eyes on you, boss. Oh shit. Alright, let me get my shit out. Um Oh that's the same knife that Oh that Karambit knife, that's the same knife that fucking I think what Smoke uses in Mortal Kombat and what Victor Chevalier uses in Tekken 8. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Throw it. I already have it equipped. Reload, reload. <laughs> <coughs> If I'm being honest, I have no idea, like, what's wrong with me, like, why I keep on coughing. I have no idea, to tell you the truth. Like, one day I got sick, I was, like, coughing, like, a lot, and then ever since then, I just, I don't know. <laughs> that guy pushed him out of the way. Okay. They just keep on coming. They won't stop. Ooh, nice one. Man. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. That's what Mark he said. Roger that, boss. Destroy the giant mold. Okay, so how do I... Yeah, I'm gonna need all this fucking ammo. I imagine Village of Shadows difficulty in this particular area section of the game is gonna be would be hard as hell. Okay, Captain, I've reloaded. Ready when you are. 
Jesus. Do something, do something. Christ, the Wolverine looking things, Jesus. Alright, let's save that one for later. <laughs> Fucking die! Fucking explode your head. Oh my god. This is pretty this is honestly a pretty fun section of the game. I found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold of the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Aha. Yep, so that's how the bakers got infected. Okay. Guarding the Mega Mycete, huh? Lobo, I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need back. Yeah, this guy is a big ass mace. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Can I climb up? No, I can't. Is he decked out in armor? I can't tell. Okay. I know exactly where to shoot him. Doing some damage to it. Oh, come on. Okay, Captain, I reloaded. Where were you are? Oh, 
What are you doing? Sir? What are you doing? Oh my god! Oh, is he cooked? Oh, he's cooked. I'll keep going. The rest of you stay above. Giant me. crystal mace. <laughs> what am I gonna sell this to the merchant as Chris? Or am I gonna give it to Ethan? can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Are they connected? I nope. Found it. There we go. It's the Mega My Seed. It's shaped exactly Alpha like the, the symbol the Mega My Seed. of the unborn child. This mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the same The root of state. the matter. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to What do you mean there wasn't time? Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Even the game calls calls Chris out for it. It's like, yeah, you should have You should have done this. Oh, it's this. The mermaid. Oh. Oh yeah, this this entire lab is like lore dump, like exposition dump, if I remember correctly. Subject name, Salvatore Moreau, Kadu affinity low, brain function surprisingly low. The Kadu has caused drastic changes to the internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish, <coughs> to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Eva. Yeah, clearly he was very messed up. Is this Domitresque? Lady D. <coughs> Subject name, Alicina Domitresque, Cadu Affinity. Most favorable, brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wounds within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Note, due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Damn. None of these people were fit for whatever reasons. Okay, Heisenberg. Subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Kadu affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain functions, normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray... What? Narc... Yap... Yapanica? I don't know. Narke Yapanica? These subject... I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. These electric organs are connected to, connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields which is used to move metal. 
Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Eva. <laughs> uh, fuck him. Calls me a bitch every time. Fuck him. Alright. Donna Beneviento. Subject name, Donna Beneviento. Cadu affinity, favorable. Brain functions, normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutomycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her kadu among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Eva. Oh. Oh, there it is, the kadu. Yeah, it looks like the symbol. Using this to control the bio weapons. It looks like a symbol for like an unborn child or whatever, unborn baby. Yeah, see right here. Aha. Oh, a child. This is Eva? Evelyn? Yeah, she was a researcher. Oh. A bat creature? Oh, here we go. Okay, let's read the note. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead med medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism positively visionary i knew that with that knowledge i could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another my conviction never wavered i realized however through the many nights of intellectual talks you and i shared that your conviction oft differed from mine you hoped to bring back a single dead person while i aimed to change the world your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you. I, I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution: the progenitor, the progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday, too. You taught me so much for that, and I will forever be in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Well, there we go. It comes around full circle. Spencer, Oswald Spencer, he owns the Spencer Mansion in the first Resident Evil game. And this is pretty much the origins of Umbrella. Like how like the seed was planted. Like there we go. Spencer, here. No way. Yep, and Chris is the one that discovers this research. See? It goes back full circle. It goes back full circle. What comes around goes around. Oh, there's Evelyn. 
My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now, now I can bring you back to life in the Mega My Seat. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took a, I took her apart and revived her in the Mega My Seat regulator, the Giant's Chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Mega My Seat. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again. That's when I found it, the Mega My Seat, completely by accident. Ugh, excuse me. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega My Seat breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Mega My Seat. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented experimented <coughs> on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kadu. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alicena, Al Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA. Okay, yep, here we go. But all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited lo too long to see you again. Oh, there's Mia. She's literally right there with Miranda. Well, that was a bunch of lore dump. Oh, there's the real Mia. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? Why are you here? I was caught. <laughs> in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me. Where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... gone. How long was she kept here for? Her. But I can save Rose. Like, the beginning of the game, like, it's obviously Miranda in disguise once you, like, figure it out. What do you mean he's gone? But how long was she captured for? I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. He, he's gifted. Oh, shoot. We're back as Ethan. He's somehow alive. What's going on? <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. So it's there. Uh, it's, cold. it's this little girl. 
Never want to hear that laugh ever again. How did I get here? God, freeze it. Shit, my body. You're so dumb. <laughs> Ellen, how are you here? You're dead. <laughs> dead? I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Wrong. It wasn't Miranda. <laughs> Wrong. You are always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh. See, Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Oh, expl explanations? Oh? Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. Yeah, in that moment. You died there yep. Three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. Yeah, in that moment in Resident Evil Seven, that's when he died. Be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, <laughs> you. You're gifted. You're special. I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. I. Mold. You were brought back to life by the mold. You get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Family. Family. No. Rose, I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I, I will save Rose. <sighs> Does this mean that Mia got fucked by a dead, moldy penis? Is that really what we're saying here? <laughs> At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see, but to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. All right, guys. In the next video, we'll take down Miranda once and for all. See you guys in the next one. Peace.